Okay guys, welcome to basic long division. Whenever we do long division, there's a few aspects that we need to remember. There is the notation used for long division. This number, the 639, is called the dividend. The 3 is called the divisor. And the answer to a division problem is called the quotient. Please remember this terminology. I'm going to go quite fast through this just to ensure that the recording is as short as possible. So please keep up or pause and rewind if you need to. I'm going to look at three examples. The first example, a simple example, 384 divided by 4. The first thing that I want you to do is to identify the divisor. The divisor in this case is 4. Once you identify the divisor, we need to write down on the right hand side the multiples of the divisor. Multiples means I will start off with 4 and keep adding 4 as I go along. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, and on and on and on. 16, and you can go further and further, and let's stop at, at 40. Once I've written down the multiples of 4, I will call this the right hand side. When I work with these multiples, I need to look at how I'm going to work with the multiples to give me the answer to this problem. So I'm going to start off here with the divisor 4 and I'm going to ask myself, can 4 go into 3? The answer is no, because 3 is less than 4. Can 4 go into 38? Most obviously it would go because 38 is greater than 4. But my question is, how many times will 4 go into 38? Remember, it does not have to go in a number fully, you can have a remainder. So 4 can go into 38 how many times? In order to answer this question, I look at the multiples. I look at the number 38. I will either try to find the number 38 here or the number that is closest to 38. In this case, the closest number to 38, lower than 38, is this number here, 36. Remember, I cannot go over 38, I have to be lower than 38. So 4 can go into 38 how many times? The answer will simply be counting down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 4 can go into 38 9 times. But before that, guys, when 4 could not go into 3, I started by putting the 0. 4 can go into 38, I said was 9 times. Once I get the answer in the top, my next thing is to multiply. 9 multiplied by 4 is equal to 36 and I've got the answer here. Once I've got the answer here which is 36 my next step is to subtract. Now I subtract because division is nothing more than repetitive subtraction. 38 minus 36 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 3 minus 3 is 0. You can't put a dot. Once you finish subtracting, the next step is you bring down the next digit, and the next digit is the 4. Ask yourself the same question again. Can 4 go into 24? The answer would be yes, but how many times? Look for the number 24 or the closest number to 24. In this case, I see there is a 24. 4 can go into 24 how many times? One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4 can go into 24 6 times. Once I write the answer in the quotient, my next step is to multiply. 6 times 4 is 24. And once I finish multiply, I will now subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. So 384 divided by 4 is actually equal to 96. Some people remove the 0, some people leave it there, not a problem. Let's go on to example number 2. In example number 2, I have 845 divided by 13. The only difference is my divisor is now a two-digit number. Being a two-digit number, I now need to start working with the multiples of 13, which is not as easy as 4. So I use this. I write the number down 13, and I add 13 to it. Do simple addition, 3 plus 3 is 6, 1 plus 1 is 2, the answer is 26. Add 13 again, 6 plus 3 is 9, 2 plus 1 is 3, answer is 39. And I go on and on, 
adding 13 as I go along. Try to keep your answer to two digits. 78 plus 13 is equal to 91. I'm only going to concentrate on where I see the black. So, normal procedure. 13 is a two-digit number. Can it go into 8? Most definitely not. Can it go into 84? Yes, it would go into 84. There might be a remainder, but it would be able to go into 84. I look down at all the black numbers, and I look for the closest number to 84, or 84 itself. In this case, I have 78. So 13 can go into 84 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. And I write down a 6. That 0, guys, was because 13 could not go into 8. 13 goes into 84 6 times. What do I do next? I multiply and then I subtract. So 6 times 13, do I need to work it out? No. 6 times 13 is equal to 78. That's the number here. And I now subtract. 4 minus 8 cannot do. I borrow a 10 and this becomes 7. 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Once I finished subtracting, I bring down the next digit, and in this case, I bring down the 5. Then the whole procedure repeats itself. Can 13 go into 65? Yes, it can. Do I see a 65 or the closest number to 65? In this case, I see the 65, yeah. So 13 can go into 65 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And I put 5 on the top. And obviously, what do I do now? I multiply and I subtract. Start off by multiplying. 5 times 13, I do not need to work it out. It's already done for me. It's equal to 65. And I subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. So 845 divided by 13 gives me an answer of 65. I'm going to do one last example, a bit more trickier. 14 or 7856 divided by 14. The divisor is 14, so I start with multiples of 14. Guys, don't worry about this for now. It might seem tedious, but provided that you get it correct, that's the main concern. As time goes on, you'll become accustomed to it. You'll do it in uh, various ways. So to 14, I will add 14. I get 28. Add 14 again. 8 plus 4 is 12. 2 carry 1. And the answer here is 42. And on and on and on. I keep adding 14 becomes easy. I'll stop at 98 for now. Let's start off with 14. Can 14 go into 7? No. So I put in 0. Can 14 go into 78? It must. How many times? Let's look at all the black numbers to see if I reach 78 or the closest number approaching 78. There's it. 14. Sorry, 70. 14 can go into 78 how many times? 1, 2, three, four, five times. On the top here, I put the number five. And again, I multiply. Five multiplied by 14. Don't need to do it. It's done for you. It's equal to 70. 78 minus 70. Eight minus zero is eight. Seven minus seven is zero. Next step, please. Correct. You bring down the five. If I bring down the five, I'm left with 85. I start the process again. Can 14 go into 85? Yes, it would. Look at the number that is equal to 85 or the closest number to 85. In this case, it is 84. I'm going to make that a bit longer. 14 can go into 85 how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. 6 multiplied by 14. There's the answer here. It's equal to 84. I subtract again. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. 8 minus 8 is 0. Once I finish subtract, always remember this, once you finish subtract, you bring down the next digit, which is a 6. Can 14 go into 16? Most definitely. How many times? One time. 1 multiplied by 14 is 14. And yes, I subtract. 16 minus 14 or 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. That is equal to 0. Can 14 go into 2? Definitely not. There's nothing else I can bring down, which means... I have a remainder which is equal to 2. Thank you guys.